Hi guys! I'm Tina Huy with Follow the Coin. And I am Sebastian Serrano from BitPower. Thanks for coming. No, thank you for having me. We are so excited to have you on our show, Sebastian. You've been making like all of the headlines. Can you tell us about BitPagos and your recent announcement? We hear you're taking over Argentina. What's happening with BitPagos? Um, cool. So BitPagos is a payment processor and we started our, our first product or service is to process fiat currency payments and pay out our merchants in Bitcoin, which is backwards to any other Bitcoin payment processor. And, and we do that because we are focusing in countries like Argentina that have high inflation and very strong capital controls, where merchants uh, are using our system to have better payments and also protect from, from the inflation. Um, but we also do allow merchants to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. Uh, we recently launched an, an integration with the, one of the largest online e-commerce in Argentina, the first one in, in Latin America that will allow people to, it's allowing people to buy from uh, smartphones to fresh with Bitcoin. And we recently announced last week a new product which is called Ripio that allows consumers to have very easy access uh, to Bitcoin even if they don't have banking. So we hook up with a, a company that sells uh, prepaid phone minutes to, um, to people uh, in convenience stores. So with Repio, when you sign up, you get a number that looks like a phone number and you go to any of these 8,000 convenience stores or across Argentina and you can give the the clerk your your number and the amount of pesos you want to exchange to Bitcoin and boom, immediately we give you Bitcoins. That's fantastic! How many convenience stores? 8,000. 8,000? Wow, wow. Nice job. Talk about making things easier for people. Oh, but is it Bitpago? No, it's Bitpagos. Bitpagos. No, Bitpagos. Bitpagos. That's right. <laughs> yes, <laughs> got it. Okay. <laughs> cool. So now that we know how to say bit pagos, can you tell us what it means? And what about Ripio? Um, Ripio is um, used in roads uh, in the country um, to, to make them more stable. And so we, the idea behind the name is that we are opening roads to, for financial inclusion. Bit pagos is more boring, it means bit payments. <laughs> That's fantastic. Argentina is listed again and again as one of the best countries to do business in Bitcoin in, and one that's definitely emerging as a leader for the technology. Can you give us an idea as to what the landscape around Bitcoin is in Argentina? So Bitcoin is growing a lot in, in, in Argentina and, and places like, uh, like it um, because we have a huge history of many economical crises and, uh, and we also have like eight defaults um, and three times accounts <laughs> have been stated uh, for finding dollars. Uh, so people have some in their memory many, many crises and hyperinflations. So they see the, the value proposition of the store of value of Bitcoin uh, much easier than any, any other place. But we also Argentina happens to have some, some more traction than other countries because it's usually more techy. Um, Facebook got a lot more popular in Argentina before it got popular in Brazil, for example. Uh, so I think that combination makes it uh, a good place to, uh, to match Bitcoin. What an incredible opportunity to make such a great impact in making so many lives better. You mentioned that Argentina has a great tech community. What's that like? So there are 40 million Argentinians. Everybody has phones and it's suspected by 2016 that half of the, smart, the phones will be a smartphone. So I think like there is a 20 million at least population that, that could be using Bitcoin recently. So how can people sign up for BitPagos? Is it just for cell phone users? Um, BitPagos can be used in, with, on, with online widgets, uh, with a virtual terminal on a web, on a, a smartphone with Android. So we, we have many integrations that we're working on, on having many more tools. And in what countries is BitPagos prevalent? So right now we have most of our user base in Argentina, but we also have merchants in Chile, Ecuador, um, Brazil, uh, Uruguay, and Venezuela. So we are, we are focusing in, in, 
uh, in all South America and any speak Spanish-speaking country. There are so many currencies. Which countries can you exchange for Bitcoin with Bitpagos? Right now we, we take uh, dollars, pesos, and uh, we are expanding our, our, the currency that we can accept. Great. Something we all love about Bitcoin is the ability to impact so many lives. And that cannot be more true as with emerging markets and Bitcoin. Can you speak to what you feel is the impact for Bitcoin in emerging markets? So, for example, in South America, 65% um, of the population doesn't have bank accounts of access to financial services. And only 10% of the population has credit cards. So the, the potential of Bitcoin is of allowing people to join the, the online economy is gigantic. Uh, it's, uh, and it's even more than in, in developing countries where everybody has a credit card. Um, and payments is, is something very developed. But in, bit, in, in, in South America or in any developing countries, um, the fact that Bitcoin doesn't have any barriers to get in, you only need to download an app uh, and that allows you to transact with any other users with, with Bitcoin um, is, is something that any other system doesn't have. And the fact that Bitcoin is an open platform that doesn't have, you don't have to ask for permission to use it, um, is going to bring a lot of innovation. Thanks again for sharing such great insights on Argentina, Bitcoin, emerging markets and everything. And for your time, Sebastian. We can't wait to see what great things you guys come up with next. If you or someone you know is in Argentina and in the Latin American market, you should definitely keep an eye out for Bitpagos. Stay tuned for more exciting news. Bye guys! Bye guys.